What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add a background overlay on mobile that won't affect your desktop version. Now I know that if you guys have ever tried this, you will notice that whenever you set up a background overlay, just like this here, um, and then we hop over to, to mobile, you'll notice that instead of having my overlay here at the top, it ends up setting on the bottom or wherever it was already set on desktop which in my opinion is such a big issue um, and should be fixed. And this was actually brought up by Living With Pixels on his most recent video called 10 Annoying Things That Elementor Should Fix. Um, and he does bring up a good point when it comes to this part where there isn't an option to fix that. Now in this video, I'm gonna be able to show you how we can go ahead and achieve that with some custom CSS. Now in case you're wondering how I come up with these solutions, I actually do have a course um, it's my elemental responsive course and I pretty much go over how to add custom breakpoints. I break down um, how you should be optimizing your pages for mobile and tablet. And it's definitely something that you want to watch and you don't want to miss on, especially if you've been having issues with making elemental responsive. I'll have a link to that down in the description. So make sure to check that out. Now, if you do find this video helpful, Make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm so other people can find this video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So let's just go ahead and dive in. Now, I already have my Elementor editor open up here. Now I am using an Elementor template. I just suggested this uh, section here just so then I can show you guys the example. As you can tell, I currently have a background overlay. But whenever we go into um, mobile, you will notice that that same background overlay is still set to the side and at the bottom, and it's not really where I want to place it. Now, if I go and click on my section here that I currently need to edit, then I go into style and I go into the background overlay. We will notice that I have a um, gradient and um, my background color set to black. And then my second one is just transparent. And that's how we're able to do this effect. It's uh, very simple. So, what we need to do in order to do that is just add some custom CSS so we can fix that on mobile. So we're going to go ahead and start off with our uh, mobile and then maybe we'll jump into tablet just so then I can show you guys that real quick. So we're just going to paste some uh, simple um, CSS here. So for those of you that have the pro versions, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. And then for those of you that have the free version, I'll show you guys an alternative and it'll probably be a different um, CSS um, class. So anyway, for those of you that have the pro version, let's go ahead and start here. So go ahead and copy the custom CSS that I have down below. And the one that we're gonna be going for right now is just the, for mobile, it should be called a uh, mobile background overlay. And I'm probably might rename this for um, Elementor, Elementor Pro instead. So you guys know the difference because there are going to be uh, other sets. Alrighty. So um, as you can tell, as soon as I added it, it ended up bringing my shadow effect to the top here. But if I were to just remove um, this angle here, as you can tell, it's it's uh, it's 80 degrees. That's, that's the angle. And that's the current angle that we actually had it at originally. So if we go to background overlay, you'll see that the current angle degree is set to 80. Um, but we, but we want to go ahead and change that, right? So let's go to custom CSS and let's set this to 180 instead. And that's going to bring it to the top. Now, for those of you wondering if it's, uh, if it's completely uh, leveled, it is, as you can tell, and, uh, that's just by adjusting. And as you can tell, since I did add 80 here, um, and I go back to background overlay, you notice that, um, on my location it should be set or it wasn't set to 80. It was probably set to like 72, but. Um, this is where it's the same thing here, uh, location. So that's where you go ahead and adjust that. Um, so let me go ahead and go back into advance. So these are the same percentages. These are pretty much the locations. This is the first location for the transparent. This is a second location for the, the color, um, which is black, which actually should be the other way around, but that's just how it is. And then here we have the opacity. Uh, if you guys did want to adjust that, and then we have a transition effect, um, just in case, you know, you have a user kind of adjusting this uh, from tablet and mobile, it's not really that important, but 
we don't really need to have it so i might just remove it but i might just leave it there just for you guys so anyway um so that's pretty much how you adjust that there now let's go into tablet and then let's go ahead and add our um, tablet portion here now we have to paste this at the top we cannot paste this at the bottom because this is uh, this is starting at um, a higher width, so that's kind of why. Because we this should add, whenever we reach this size first, obviously this size will come first um, if they shrink it, and then after that, uh, tablet always comes first, right? And then and then after that, it's mobile. So you always just want to have that just like that. So um, let's say we want to go ahead and adjust um, the angle here. Maybe we can do um, sixty. If you can tell. So we can go ahead and adjust that to 60, maybe 20. If we wanted it set to the bottom, I believe it would be set to zero. I'm not 100% sure, um, but we can check that right here. If we go 80, yep. So it would be set to um, to zero. And that's how that would work in case you guys were wondering. But I'm gonna go ahead and just set this back to 80. That's fine. Um, it's not really necessary, honestly. I could just go ahead and just remove this anyway. And as you can tell, it's it will still be set um, to pretty much how it was. And it's because it's going off of the, the, the desktop um, settings for the overlay. But if I wanted to make my own um, settings for the tablet, I just got to add a custom CSS here. Now, that's pretty much it for, um, for Elementor Pro users. Now, I'm going to be going over how to do this if you have the free version. So, I'm going to go ahead and actually remove this. And then for those of you that have the free version, like I just mentioned, um, go into your, go, click on your section. And you can even do this on desktop. doesn't really matter, honestly. Uh, go into your section and then go into, um, go into advanced and then CSS classes. And then we're going to go ahead and call this um, BG, stands for background, dash overlay. And then go ahead and save it. And as you can tell, let me just show you guys because currently you can tell it's not set yet um, on mobile. So we're stopping that issue. So if I were to go into the customizer, go into the, your customizer here. Go into additional CSS and this is where we're going to paste our CSS. I'm just going to paste it. Uh, I'm going to paste both mobile and tablet. And I actually do have to rename these here. I'm going to probably name this free version of Elementor or something like that. So you you will know the difference. I'll probably have free Elementor. Um, so now if we go in here and check it out on um, on mobile. Oh, let's actually go ahead and publish this and make sure that it's working here. Uh, let's exit out of this. Let's inspect. And there we have it. So now it's working. Um, it for some reason just wasn't working in our uh, customizer. Um, but that's all set there. And let's go ahead and view this on um, tablet as well. And there we go. Now that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm so other people can find this video. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.